this guy. Let's go. So anyway, uh, when we look at it from this point of view, I do like what is happening uh, coming in from the side of RRQ. They are very consistent. So definitely RRQ has my uh, has my prediction. Mm -hmm. They are definitely the one of my favorite teams. God to damn be. it. Okay, I'll choose L and MYA. However, I do think MYA has the probably uh, has the has ability, ability has the, to draw to the game out. draw the game out with them. So I think that's a possibility that we should not ignore. The enemy right. I mean, from the is side of MYA. Bad. However, uh, it is an uphill battle here because RRQ is just so much. Uh, so they're more so clean. clean, cleaner in some of these uh, exchanges, the and I also Your feel that uh, when it comes to how they communicate with one another, I don't know. I feel like there is less doubt in every play that they make yeah, comparatively. I think it's because they they have been playing for a really long time, and they are really they're really top. They're internationally recognized in the game. They are top global. Uh, players with you know with their own respects uh, so we gotta give where the credit is due and they have been sponsored by a tremendous uh, organization like RRQ does have their reasons to be at the top uh, being being the top dog in MSL right now Mobile Star League Mobile Legends edition is brought to you by C Gamer Mall banning out the Selena right there I do like uh, MYA's ban right there does not want the Selena to be on Lemon's the hand right here right picking. now Hellcut on the other hand be taken out by RRQ surprisingly no uh, Kagura on Lemon today we do see we do see that uh, Grok has already been Your opened up and immediately picking. Uh, Ace picking it out uh, for first rotation and immediately Insing and Ayam Jago reply with a Cho as well as a Hayabusa pickup. How do you think about this? There you go, Grok is an obvious pickup right there but they have to choose between Grok or Hayabusa but they choose the Grok for the Ace right here. Uh, Grok being played a lot by the Ace. Oh, the Gushan being picked up by LMAO right there. Lamau, really, really great Gushan player. Having the Bane on their side as well. Really, really solid team composition so far. But the I do enemy is think picking. that RRQ does have a slight edge right here. They have the Cho that's really, really strong with the crowd control along with the Hayabusa to match it up with the Vexana that could be picked by RRQ right now. Could be... Uh, pretty good for them you know it, it could be pretty good for them i do like it uh with the bane as well as the gujin pickup i like the damage in terms of your uh, in terms of oh, what is being provided here the kagura oh, boy lemon's got a kagura i don't know about you but it's time to uninstall my mobile legends and <laughs> just stay your away team. from ranked games at the moment because oh my lemon God. is bringing out the big guns big guns indeed this guy is famous only because he plays a sick Kagura and he was number one, you know, like throughout the history of the game up to this point. And he has like 90 plus percent in the game records and it's, his Lemons Kagura is unbeatable. Everybody else plays Kagura and they're great, but he plays Kagura like none other. And Landslot right here being picked up and... Ooh, with the Aurora right here, a little bit of MYA's taste oh. of Mage coming in for MYA. Aurora, really, really I, interesting. I, I, I like this Aurora pickup here. Coldest Destroy could be, in theory, a very You strong. like your Coldest Destroy. I like it, I like it because ever since I saw, uh, I think it was MYA at MSC last year, or maybe it was one of the other teams, land a five man Coldness Destroy, oh, 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 and oh, oh, the oh, entire oh. team just got wrecked oh, <laughs> so oh. hard. So I, I, I ever since that moment I, I've always been a big fan of uh, Aurora. Aurora mainly because so of flashy, that. right? But the thing is, um there is a certain amount of time for the animation to complete. Yeah, so right. it's fairly easily it's it's fairly dodgeable. Mm -hmm. I mean easy to dodge, but I still feel that if you put it in the right hands and you're able to time it really well, Colonel Destroy could be a very, very strong tool into turning a team fight up on its head. Five man AOE. Yeah. Five man AOE free stun. Free so it's stun. really Get really stun. really Forever. really really strong coming in. If Shadow does land that five man Kona's destroy, come on Mobile Legends casting history. Let's go. Let's go right here. And we shall see and watch the game of RRQ versus MYA. Malaysian Pride on the line here. Will they be able to upset 
the team of RRQ and bring them to a draw and hopefully bring it closer for EVOS to actually try and wrestle it away or will it be MYA that falls further and further away from RRQ and EVOS Honor, let's find out you know Hound has placed his ban on RRQ my bet yes. is on Honor MYA let's go for a draw right here Five Malaysian Pride the is on the, the line MYA will be charging towards the middle All lane the turtle will be spawning on the top side of the map right here and let's see how the event <coughs> goes it looks to be a 1-3-1 one, 1-3-1 three, one. One, three, one possibly 1-4 one, composition right here we still do not entirely know that Akai is trying to scout out <coughs> you, know, you know the perimeter for RRQ right here Grok trying his best to be aggressive um, Hayabusa trying to take the buff right here but Grok is there along with the Aurora this is really really strong in weight coming in from on the MYA but Cho is coming in from the backside right here along with the Bane as well let's see whether oh Aurora does get the buff for himself so it was a successful in weight it was, by on it was, MYA it was it was a pretty successful in weight here and uh, as we can see already that uh, early invade could actually uh, push them in terms of uh, economy economy advantage here they already have about 200 300 gold advantage it's not much early on but every little bit counts especially in the early game here. especially fighting against a team like I, RRQ exactly, exactly especially with a team like RRQ who is such a powerhouse uh, an Indonesian powerhouse you definitely have to respect their their prowess and their abilities so every little advantage will definitely oh, count no. but will it be enough First though I have Jungle we managed to get in the kill but that was very very interesting coming from Nina he stepped forward and then stepped back and stepped forward again which was really really weird, weird. really weird indeed so we do see that uh, there isn't going to be much changes here but there is going to be a rotation to the mid side that could actually end up in a very big fight here uh, we do see Ace now in a little bit of pressure as they're going to be Turtle resurrecting now, soon. Uh, trying to go for that little, 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 little engages or little, little skirmishes that could actually benefit them in the long run. So we do see that bottom side, Tuturu, building up a little bit more pressure. Right now, two minutes in, the the turtle has been spawned already on the MYA, looking for an opening right here. But RRQ with the Kagura, with the Cho on the top side of the map, with the Akai, oh, tries to engage onto Aurora right here. Aurora might have a freeze, you know, have some ice cream for RRQ right here, but does not have the level 4 for the Kronos, Kronos Destroy. LML is on the bot lane, tries to fight against the Landslot. And they're trying to back up Initiate on the top side of RRQ, you know, having a, a little bit of a stronger body language and having a little Initiate bit stronger retreat. presence on the top lane. But Bane will, Padel will be oh, trying to push, but almost gets caught by Akai and Kagura right there. Really great rotation so far on the MYA, not losing anyone uh, so far into the game right here. They've not uh, lost the early game as much as they as they want to be and in fact leading quite a bit in terms of the gold advantage so far three minutes in how what is going on right now i think i think what is going on right now is the rrq is basically playing a little bit of a safer game here compared to mya uh, mya oh nice wall there coming in from the side of ace but it's going to be not conducive into building a place where they're not going to be able to escape uh, from the side of rrq uh, I do think that there is a slight lead in favor of MYA, but RRQ is slowly closing that gap. So they have to be very wary on how they make some of these plays here. We do see that um, coming in, Nina now is going to be hanging out over to the top side, and there might be a big fight over to the top side here, depending on how that goes. Alright, so we do see the shadow now is going to be taken down and we do see out of position here oh, oh look at the damage coming in there it goes deadly catch being thrown out there it's going to be very good but the kick is going to be good there goes the corner destroyed beautifully done the ace now was able to wow. get away a nice little kill by the side of nina there but they've got to be careful they might lose one man and aurora shadow will be taken down as well one for one trade it sees that rrq was able to take advantage of that turning lemons into lemonade on the mya struggle with the positioning on the top side of the map getting caught you know, they were trying to catch that Akai out, but Akai turned that around with his Hurricane Dance right there. Grok instead was getting, you know, was getting chunked right there, but flickers out, leaving out Aurora in an open position for RRQ to take him down. And right now, it's 
four minutes, uh, almost five minutes in already. One to two at this point. The goal is still neck to neck, and wow, what a back and forth game so far. Oh, Kagura killing off Bane off screen right here. A little bit of a banter right here. A little bit of a back and forth right here on the bottom lane. Hayabusa and Lance are trying to fight each other out. No turtles being taken so far. Five minutes in. And as we know it, a turtle will be despawned on six minutes. So right now, uh, RQ and Honor MY is on a ticking, you know, ticking time clock right here. To try to leverage on the turtle uh, gold advantage right here if they our if turret they has need been destroyed right now i think rrq will be the only one that's able to get it but considering the padding that's happening unless they pad towards the turtle i don't think anyone's going to be taking it as of right now so considering their damage is pretty good on both sides of the team both of them could actually both teams could actually take it really easily but it's going to be 20 seconds before it spawns out so i don't think we're going to see a turtle fight here anytime soon as it every will be team, a lot fight i mean i mean i mean teams right now are more content on pushing out the lanes uh, we do see the ace now going for it oh but oh. we do see that there is going to be a turtle here uh being contested over but Will it be a little bit too late though? As it's going to be six minutes in, Turtle will most likely despawn in a bit before Lord comes back out. We do see a slight item spike right here for Honor MYA, having concentrated energy on that land slot right now, and the Bloodlust Axe for the uh, or having to concentrate the energy on the Gushen, but hold that thought right here, bottom side of the map. Tuturu as well as Nina and Lamau now getting into a little bit of trouble here. Other members of RRQ now coming in to go for the fight. There goes a beautiful flicker, but Thorn Rose will be able to get out of the way. But sadly, the amount of numbers over to the bot side will take him down. Cho coming in, flickering in, goes for the stun and the way of the dragon, kicks out that Lancelot, and with the follow up from RRQ, that was enough to take. Lancelot down one of the most important assassins for on the MYA and fight the commands here. Oh, my nice goodness, kill from the side of Ace now, they need to leverage on this. There goes a little bit of damage there, but Tuturu getting a kill onto the Aurora, onto Shadow, over to the bot side here. One number down, one for one. Your team one. destroyed a turret. Like RQ is definitely enjoying a lot of this, you but nope, it's not gonna enemy. be enough. Uh, it's going to be on the MYA that enjoys that for a benefit. Two for one exchange on the MYA. Seven minutes in. Oh, RRQ. nice little wall oh. there from Ace, but sadly, there's not going to be any follow up for any other members of MYA. On the MYA, the seven turret. minutes in, losing the age of the gold advantage, going into RRQ's favor. They are trying to come back from this. They do have a lot of heroes that 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 would do well in terms of team fights. So I I I feel like this Gronk is a little bit. You know, getting caught a little bit too much right here. They, he tries to go a little aggressive without the backup of his teammate, without letting all the MYAs and members know that he will be going in. But instead, getting caught by Cho Stun, getting caught by Akai Stun, or leading uh, his teammate to death right here, which is not the ideal situation that Honor MYA wants to be in. Cho is in the middle of the situation. Lord is on the top side of the map right here. Grog is in the middle of the action oh right here. Oh boy, there he goes. The ace now is going to get taken slain. down. Beautifully done from the side of RRQ. Oh, RRQ now slain. looking towards decimating and massacring them, but it's going to be a trade-off kill. But what is it going to be for? One by one, they're all going to fall down. Shadow now the last person alive. Trying to get those setups. Gonna try to get those charges up, but it might not be Enough. Our turret will be able destroyed. to escape limps away, but the one that won the most out of that fight is definitely our RQ. Our RQ pushing the top side and the bottom side at the same time. Aurora and Grog trying to defend that for themselves on a MYA have to hold the line. They are, they are only five thousand gold. Uh, in deficit right here. They, it is still possible to come back. Come back right here. It's still not too far gone. They have lost their side lanes right here. They have less control on the side lanes. They still have their middle lane tower though. However, they only have one tower for themselves against RQ. But my goodness, that Kagura 
walks out there, but Lancelot right here. Oh man, oh man, look at that. The amount of damage is coming in here. We do see uh, Lamau now trying to get away. Beautiful stuff being shown here from the side of On MYA. They are giving out a valiant effort, but it seems that RRQ is just beating them from a micro and macro level, and it seems that RRQ is not interested in playing any more games. Nine minutes in, ten minutes almost closing the game out already. RRQ, you know. You know, tr trying to engage a little more, trying to be a little more aggressive, but loses out the Kagura getting caught right there. Kagura, maybe she wants to close the game out a little bit faster than his teammates right here. Liam on the Akai tries to run away from that, sees three people. Oh, nice little dodge oh. there from Ace uh, to get it off and Lim Lemon now in oh a lot of trouble. Oh my goodness, so. the flicker, but Nobody nope, it's not going to be insane. enough as Nina manages to follow through. Oh, the Kona's oh, Destroy oh, is oh, good oh, though. Oh, 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 Kona's Destroy was good. Lands on two, but it's going to be another kill coming in from the side Our of Honor MYA. Honor destroyed. MYA not losing any members at all. We do see RRQ now trying to go in. Lemon comes, IM Jago comes in, helping out as much as he can, but it's not going to be enough. We do see that uh, Padel now trying to get as much uh, space between him and his base as possible and look oh, at the amount of damage coming out to Ayam Jago. Ayam Jago now in a little bit spot of bother here. Nina manages to help that fight and is going to be the knockout oh, as well. The Colder destroyed on to Tuturu. Tuturu now oh. dead Zuru as we see it. Man, oh man, we do see MYA slowly picking it up and trying to bring their bestest game against RRQ. We go see that uh, Thorn, Ro Thorn Rose will go down. Deadly Catch has been brought down. We do see Liam now taking a lot of damage. He has to jump away. But is it be enough though? Nina now in a lot of trouble here. There he goes. There he goes with the beautiful way of the dragon there coming in from the side of Instinct. Instinct going ultra Instinct. The numbers are not in favor of the side of Honor MYA. They've got to be careful on how they take this fight. My goodness. What a fight from Honor MYA. They came back with the small little team fights and big little team fights they are able to take. Gronk being really aggressive right there, but have to take care of the positioning of the Aurora. Shadow is the man of the match right here. Shadow landing all these coldness destroys against RRQ, which is really really crucial she has the rapid boots to go really far she has the enchanted talisman for the cooldowns right here landing more corners destroy landing more stuns landing more freeze for on MYA 11 minutes in 12 minutes in in fact right now on MYA tries to struggle the, their way up right now evening up the score 30,000 go to 34,000 go RRQ going for the Lord right now I don't know whether on MYA does spot this the ace tries to let his teammates know on MYA tries to travel All tries right. to rotate right here this is going to be another Lord fight here but it's going to be very interesting considering that the positioning that is happening there is a lot of zoning uh, coming in from the side of Honor MYA uh, on RRQ they are waiting for that perfect spot here there goes Colder Destroy Lord has been taken up for the RRQ but it's not going to be enough though there's going to be kills coming in left right set the back more and more kills coming in from the side of RRQ but we do see a killing spree there for the side of uh, Honor MYA the Lord now being called out and pushed out over to the bottom side RRQ definitely has the numbers advantage here too oh my goodness four for one again rrq going four for one shadow is still alive at this point my word rrq taking the lot for themselves out of all those mess that NYA was trying to create they were trying to take lord when they have not get any kills against rrq what were they thinking right now? Wild nice. charge is good. Nice oh. wild charge coming in from the side of the ace. The ace now in a lot of trouble as I'm Jungle has to go jump over the wall. But could it be enough though? There goes a nice little blade out coming in from the side of Nina. Nina doing really well with that, but it's going not going to be enough here. Oh, double kill going over by a lemon. Nicely done. And on a MYA tries to stop and tries to. Uh, quell the push that's coming in from the Lord. They will be able to take it down, but Super Minions are already mobilizing towards them. Top is bleeding resources as well as mid and bottom here. What do you do as if you are on Honor MYA's team right now, Edo? Honor MYA has to stabilize the game just like game one. They have uh, two assassins that's, that can be really, really strong into the late game, but however, the MVP of RRQ right here is indeed the Akai that has been locking down 
the the players of Honor MYA does not let them have the positional advantage. Lancelot tries to go he gets the Wexana though. Lemon is out of the game, but could this translate enough into an advantage for Honor MYA? They're still losing out in terms of goal advantage. They're still losing out in terms of tower pressure. They're still losing out right here. They're still running away despite having a kill for for themselves right here. Lemon is out of picture, but RRQ still standing strong. There's no other objectives for Honor MYA to take, but RRQ taking out more gold from themselves, cashing out from the bank of Mobile Legends right now. RRQ 45,000 gold, 46,000 gold to 37,000 gold. 15 minutes in, struggling to close the game, but Honor MYA is a little bit shaky right now, and they should take advantage of this. Because the Grok is in, in the middle of the action. Good wall right there. Hayabusa tries to get out. Ooh, the mark is there from Goshen. Might be going in right there, but stops right there. Cool, All cool. right, good stuff here coming in from the side of MYA. They are trying to stop this push. However, RRQ knocking on their doors doesn't actually help them in any of the good senses here. Thorn Rose has gone down, but this could be the last team fight here. The A is now going in and throwing out that wall there. Wild charge could be available. It really depends. Force of nature has been popped up. So we do see that. Oh, Liam now comes in. There goes a beautiful stun there. Coming in. The spin is going to go good. But will it be enough though? Oh my god. Lamau gets exploded. A double kill going over to the side of Instinct. And it's going to be one for no four for nothing as the last game. And that's going to be a wipeout at the end of the game. Wow, wow, wow. RRQ taking 2-0 against Honor MYA, getting them three points, leading the way yet again. Evos has a lot to climb right here. Has